there are two issues that I have where I think the Niners lost this game. Okay, first one, after the pick, after the pick in the third quarter, they went three series. They went nine passes, two runs in those three series, got zero points. You could have won the game in that moment, and you went pass, 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 punt. Next series, pass, pass, pass. Right then and there, you allowed the Chiefs to stay in this game where you could have stepped on their throats, commanded and demanded who we are. We're going to command, we're going to just take your souls. And what you did is you passed. And I knew that was my biggest fear for the Niners is Shanahan would get in the way of putting too much in Purdy's hands. Okay. Purdy played a solid game. The reality is, how many balls did he complete outside of the numbers or vertical throws? He completed one against man to man, a sale route by number three, which is the easiest throw to make in man to man. You know what? Pre snap, get to your drop. I slide left. It's it's as easy as easy can come. When you show single high to a quarterback, you're dead. Okay, it doesn't matter what type of quarterback you are. Okay, but the reality is, is he is a system quarterback, and he they. They had it. The defense played amazing. And I'm not even a Niners. I I like to see good football, right? And I was, for much of that game, I was rooting for both teams because the Chiefs played horrible for three quarters. And I'm just sitting there like, how is this team in the Super Bowl, for one? The defense is hanging around. But on the flip side, the Niners have mistake after mistake from from the calling, some issues with the play calls, from not taking advantage of some situations. And then you guys just talked about it. For the life of me, they must not have known the rules for overtime. You can't tell me there is a reason to take the ball in overtime. It is as simple as this, guys. You cannot win the game taking the ball in overtime. You can only lose the game. Right. Does that make sense? Right. You, can, yeah. you can't win the game taking the ball. So how in the world, in the biggest game, you make that mistake? I, I, I don't know. And people defending that, oh, I want the ball third. You are lying to yourself, and you should say right now that it was the biggest mistake of that game for taking the ball because you shouldn't. There's really? no reason, Smitty. There's no reason to take the ball there. No, I, I, I'm I'm with you. I, I just I, okay. Let's say the Chiefs get the ball first. The Chiefs go down and score a touchdown. Now yes, you're, okay. you're putting pressure on your that, offense. Like yeah, what's, yeah. What's, like, At least you know what to do, Smitty. You know what to do. I got to score a touchdown, and now I can go win the game with a two point conversion. If you score first, mm, okay. you have no shot at winning. That's my whole thing. I, I'd rather put win. the pressure on my defense, though, because my defense has been balling down there most of the game, and my offense has been struggling. Purdy, like you, you just alluded to, made one good outside throw the entire game. I'd rather us go down there, get a field goal, whatever we're going to get, put the pressure on my defense, know, my D-line, who's balling out all game, and let them close out. Smitty, it's not how you're playing. It's just basic facts. It's not college. It's You have no shot to win the game. That's my you. that's my whole yeah. premise. Regardless of your winning or losing, it, it is the straight – Rules of the game. So yeah. on top of that, I thought, was it a great football game? No, I thought it was two teams battling it out, really good defenses. Uh, and it was it got it got really good in the fourth quarter. And and once it almost seemed like Reed and those guys had it click in the last two series of the fourth quarter, and it, it was a wrap from there. It was unfortunate with how do you let Chris Jones unblocked on that great play call? Like uh, on the flip side, Shanahan. I mean, this is an incredible call. Look at Man ID with C Mac motion across, messing their their rotations up. I mean, you got guys running ooh, wide open. Oh and my god! How you how you you know you know Spags is going zero in any situation. That's who he is. That's what they practice. That is their identity. And three different times that play. The overtime where the, uh, McDuffie's a free runner, right? In the, again, Shanahan, great player I call right there. I'm not sure why you're running double slants into a zero where you know they're inside leverage. Okay. Like, that doesn't make much sense from a defense. It's great for defense. Offense, it doesn't make any sense. You got to go out breaking routes, uh, run away from man to man. So, and then, sorry for my, my big rant because I only got a few, few minutes uh, until the next guest or whatever we got going. Mahomes, yeah. I think two things can be true. They changed their whole identity this season. Run first, defense first. Don't lose the game. Don't do anything crazy. The guy's a winner, man. And he is one of the one of the best right now. He is on his way, if he continues his success, to challenge that conversation. Now, is he there yet? No. 
But to do what he's done in six years, uh, now, has he had to go through the gauntlet? I think this playoff run was pretty dang stacked for him. But is he going through great – is he going through great quarterback play? And is this error? No, but at the end of the day, three and one, six AFC championship games, and what he's done in all Super Bowls, even though it statistically hasn't been great, when the game is on the line and you need a play, how do you how do you not put him up there and say, This is who I want to for a game winning drive at this moment? 